Concerns about the coronavirus have companies like Indeed and Twitter urging their employees to work from home. And Austin Public Health is encouraging people not to get too close to each other. So statewide experts in telemedicine say the demand for their technology is higher than ever. KXAN's Avery Travis shows us how a local company is using video chats with doctors as a remedy. Who needs something to drink? For a busy mom of four, going to the doctor can be stressful. Kids love to touch things and, you know, lick things, put things in their mouth. Leaving Shelly Chan worried about germs there. You're exposing them to, you know, different things, and when they're so little, you, you don't want to do that. Founder of Austin Startup Remedy says they've been getting a lot more calls as worries about coronavirus spread. Let's take a temperature here, bud. Their physicians actually come out to people's homes, but right now, their video exams are the first line of defense. Yeah, we are actually recommending that folks who have a flu-like illness uh, or something along those lines use Use video first. And across the state, they're not the only ones. Experts at UT Medical Branch say they've seen a huge increase in interest in their technology over the past few weeks. And not just from patients, but from other healthcare systems too. We can use telehealth to provide provider to provider consultation on how to manage some of these patients. UTMB's Vice President of Telemedicine, Dr. So Alexander Bo, the says they're connecting with clinics and mobilizing to help. Nothing. At some point, a patient may have to get tested in person. But having an initial touch point with that patient using telehealth to assess the symptoms. It's really vital for directing the course of care. And the biggest pro is it keeps healthy people a healthy distance away from someone who's sick. In Austin, Avery Travis, KXAN News. UTMB's telemedicine program was started to help provide specialized care to rural communities. And during an outbreak like this, they say it can be used in those hard to reach areas to screen patients.